Hey guys, just wanted to jump on here and talk about a specific injury called a Liz Frank injury. Um, it's an injury that you definitely don't want to miss so that you can get it managed properly. And I'll just chat about how this injury occurs and the management for it. Um, so your Liz Frank region is a part of your foot. It's a part of the midfoot. It's where the cuboids and the metatarsals meet. So if we take a look at this uh, foot model, you've got bones here that are quite cube shaped. And those are the cuboids. And then you've got your toe bones, your metatarsals, and they meet together. You can see that joint pretty well. And that's your Liz Frank region. So um, the Liz Frank, a Liz Frank injury can refer to a fracture in that area, a dislocation, or even a ligament tear. So it encompasses all of those. Um, it doesn't have to be all three, but it can be one of those. Um, so the way that this injury typically occurs is from a motor vehicle accident, a crush injury, um, a axial rotation, um, or a fall from height. It is very unlikely for a Liz Frank injury to be sustained indirectly. So it has to be pretty much from a kind of a blunt traumatic force because um, it's quite a strong area. Um, so for it to be damaged in any sort of way, uh, it's typically some sort of traumatic event. Um, so on scans, they can tell if there's any sort of diastasis or dynamic instability between the cuboids and the metatarsal bones. Um, and then if there is instability noted, then surgical um, intervention is highly recommended to stabilize the joint and prevent any sort of long-term degenerative changes. If the joint is stable, then conservative management can begin. Um, for timelines, with conservative management, if you're looking at an athlete to get back to peak performance, it would be about six to 12 months. Um, and with surgery, it pushes it out a little bit longer, not meaning that it's worse because you're not getting back sooner. One isn't better than the other. It just needs to be treated um, properly. So if there's, there's dynamic instability, it's important that it, it gets surgical treatment. Um, and if, it's, if there's not, then conservative is fine. Um, it's just, yeah, those are the two kind of routes that it has been shown to go and is recommended to get the best outcomes. So hopefully that was interesting and that you learned something today and um, to uh, just kind of look out for those kind of mechanisms of injury if one was to happen to make sure that you, you catch it early and get it managed properly. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.